Hmm. Arc Piercer to do extra crit damage seems awesome, but Stunning seems awesome too. I think we'll do that for her. Serve me well, my minion. She's got vampire fangs. That's badass. I need to find more of these. So yeah, I don't know if you I, I don't know if you remember Star Kitty. You used to watch me play uh, that other game that's similar to this called Darkest Dungeon. Well, in that one, you were up against the monsters. And your guys had the sanity meter, so you didn't just have to manage your health; you also had to manage your sanity, right? You, you uh, and I don't think they called it that; they called it something else. I could be wrong, but the 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 thing is, it added an interesting new mechanic to the game. And um, yeah, yeah, you remember. And uh, it it and it, it it's an interesting mechanic that you had to you know manage yourself. For your minions, or not minions, for the, for your heroes to make sure that they survived, and so sometimes the enemy, all they did was attack your your fear level. <clears throat> and uh, the neat thing about this game is it turns out on its head, it just flips it over, and now you're the one who's either attacking their health or attacking their stress levels, and which is kind of cool, different. Um, more crit. Created our friend Yith Uh let's see. Mm, more damage or four percent chance to melee kill the target. That seems kinda cool. Four percent seems kinda low though. Uh astounding fortitude. Uh yeah, I think I don't know. I d yes and no. I mean so far, I'll be honest with you, this one is a little less challenging. Darkest Dungeon is a lot harder. So if you're looking for, you know, for anybody watching and listening, and uh, the the if you're looking for a true roguelike challenge, uh, Darkest Dungeon is harder. Now, keep in mind, I'm only playing this on normal difficulty right now. And my first playthrough, I played it on an easy difficulty, and it was just too easy. And even the normal difficulty has been so so far. So it's entirely possible it's going to get harder. Uh, I'm, right now, this is a, the, the a normal difficulty, and uh, it doesn't seem as difficult and challenging as Darkest Dungeon did on normal difficulty. So um, there's that. But it, despite that, it has a lot of flavor and feel, and uh, the the strategy, the way you do things, is just a little bit different. In, and so there's subtle differences that I would say I enjoy this one a little more than Darkest Dungeon. To put it in perspective, Darkest Dungeon, I never completed. Uh, I eventually just kind of got burned out on it. But this one, I've already completed once on easy. And now I am intend to complete it again on normal. And I might even keep playing and complete it on difficult. So... Uh, we want to give Mr. Skellington forms. This seems really cool. He strikes back with a stress attack if when he's attacked. So this would combo well with the shades. So I'm going to go ahead and actually pick I that. expect results. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, she just got some points to spend. Get that luck up there. Get that luck up there again. Okay. And don't want to bother putting the mutant claw on anybody. I mean, might as well. I'll replace it with something better later. Do I want to? Who, who do I use more though? Um, mm -hmm. All right, he can come out of that oven, and these folks can come out of this oven, and now we're going to bake the skeleton. Bake him. Bake him like bacon. And, um, 
Man, do we we have enough digger souls that it might be worthwhile to try upgrading a building. What do we want more of? This one gives us more wandering souls. So we can build a mummy and upgrade it. It costs 75? Yeah, that seems like a wise investment. Because it's an investment to get more digger souls to increase those other ones. So, yeah, that's... And it was a mummy, I believe. They will carry the curse of my tomb to the world. Sweet. Now, so we get three to six digger souls per minion now. So a minimum of 12, maximum of 18 per turn on top of what we're already getting. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, you know what I'm seeing here? It looks cool. Check this out, baby. You, you, you're going to like this. We're going to have... Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We're going to go an all-girl band. It's the Spice Girls. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't know. Do you know the Spice Girls names? If you do, why don't you type them in chat and then we can name these Spice Girls to make their band official. Like we will like I will literally name them the, after the Spice Girls. Girl power. Heck yeah. So what do you think? Shall we do that? What uh what uh what do we want to name these girls? Like Oh, there are five. Oh. Well, crap. Is there any four girl girl bands? I mean, I, I like the Spice Girls. We'll just pick your four favorites. And, uh, or if you can name any of them, that would be cool. And we will just rename these minions to match. But the Spice Girls did drop down to four. Oh, well, look at you. Oops. Stop that. Okay. So, what were the final four Spice Girls then? We'll, 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 we'll make them. We'll make them that. Still trying to remember that movie. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can think. I can visualize the actors in the movie actor actress like i know who directed it oh uh i just i can't remember any of the names so earlier i was scary baby sporty and posh really there's no for some reason I, okay that's the name so this is perfect then all right let's start off with banshee banshee is gonna be Scary Banshee. Okay. Now that's done. Scary Banshee. And uh, let's see. Well, baby, that makes sense. So bride, this is Aratus's bride. So she's his baby. He's like, you're my baby, Star Kitty. Oh, so this is baby bride of Aratus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And. Uh, no, we, we want their, their Spice Girl name. Okay. And then Sporty and Posh. So with the hat, like she definitely fits Posh, right? She's very Posh with that hat. It's Posh. And then this has got to be, of course, Sporty. I mean, she's a vampire, so she's very Sporty. She's a Sporty vampire. So we have a scary banshee. <laughs> we have a baby bride of Aratus. We have a posh fallen vampire. And we have a sporty vampire. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. This is fun. All right, it's goofy fun. Here we go. Um, and we are gonna save this awesome team and we're gonna jump into the next fight because they are gonna kick some serious butt. Darn it! Look, I was right. You can't backtrack, so I can't go down this 
this se section anymore. I won't be able to get that quest. Oh well. It's all good. Dang, that's a shame though. We would have actually gotten way more stuff if we'd gone the other route. Well, live and learn. So the movie, I, I, I was thinking of Bigger Souls. Uh, why can't I remember this? I literally own this movie and watched it a few months ago. <laughs> oh, it was directed by Robert Rodriguez. It has George Clooney in it. The actress, why can't I remember her name? Goodness. Um, it's 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 also got Quentin Quentin Tarantino it plays a character in it and dies in it and becomes a vampire in it. It's a vampire movie with George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino and Harvey Keitel and oh that other amazing actress I forget her name from Dust Till Dawn. Yes, thank you, Star Kitty, and you're much better than mine memory. You're awesome. So uh, remember the vampire queen was the actress that also played in Desperado. Uh, I forget the name of, uh, of, I forget her name. I, why can't I remember her name? Um, I just can't remember her name. But uh, this, this character Selma Hayek, yes, thank you. Why can't I remember? I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of hers. How could I not remember? But, oh well. Uh, so she, she, this character, don't you see? She's got that, she looks kind of like she's got that whole Aztec thing going on, like Selma Hayek's character did. So uh, I think that may be what inspired this this character. I'm just, just guessing, not 100% sure, but just guessing. So there we go. All right. Girl fight! Well, girl power fight. Uh-oh, these guys are immune to stress. We'll just have to take it out quickly. These guys, this guy's tough. Ooh, man, this is not... This is a... Kind of a scary combination of dudes. Um... Sure, we'll start off with this. Get their wards out of the way now. We'll give her a little buff. Frail bodies fail you. <laughs> He's all repaired, required. Every attack against the target is a critical hit. Ooh, that's not cool. You. Speaking of critical hits, old man. <laughs> Go ahead and take out this thing's armor. And...
Yes! Ooh! Oh my goodness, that hurt. That's right, because every hit on her is a crit. Ow! Yikes! Okay. Mm. Need to finish that thing off fast. There we go. <laughs> this never yeah, it was. Gets old. I'm worried we're about to lose the damn pier. Oh. I know, Posh. Well, I just, she's been marked. And. Wow, she's gonna take a lot of damage from this guy. I'm trying to decide. You know what? I can move him back. That might work. Maybe it might be worthwhile to move her back. Strength through pain. If I can reduce their attack effectiveness, then we have a chance of saving her. Does she have anything that moves herself back? She does not. else in it is that a stance hmm We can cross our fingers. We can get a, a score, a critical hit here. Make sure neither one have a block or, an, or a good evasion. Neither one of them have any evasion. So yeah. Darn, she didn't get the crit. But so, ooh, scared the crap out of that guy though. Of evolution looks like. <laughs> no. Ah! He's lost posh. Darn it. We're gonna have to make a new one, I guess. P posh, yes. I mean, I could reload, but no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna save scum it. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. Did she have any good stuff on her though? I don't remember. She's hard to find too. No, I can make her. Never mind. She's okay. Ooh, we got a new brain too. You know what? We might actually. Get a better one than what we had before. Because we're going to make a new one and give her that level 6 brain. Yeah. So, that first posh wasn't the, the, the real posh. She was the uh, the tryout in the early days of the band. So. Welcome to the winning side.
All right. Okay, let's make her more devastating. What can we do? That seems good. Um, that's good. Now she has stuff that can boost her 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 life up better. Make her a little more survivable, I think. Uh, we're just gonna focus on her. Or she can only get a max initiative boost of, of two ranks, so might as well just do them now. And then max her crit. Okay. Look at that. She sort of got upgraded. <laughs> <coughs> I think she might have lost some some gear there. I don't remember if she was carrying gear or not, but that's okay. Uh, Dark Knight. Oh wow, we got stuff. We got points to spend here. Um, My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. Hmm, stats. He's better to just... Wow. It's weird that there's a disparity there. Oh, it's because of the direction that I went with the... Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Actually. So, I don't care about his damage right now. We want to make him very tanky, so... There go. Um, anybody in ovens? Yeah, looks like Mr. Skellington's in the oven. Ooh, we didn't have anybody in in their training. That's a shame. Um, uh, like he needs he needs he needs to go adventuring, not training. And it, headhunter could use some training. We should probably upgrade that building. Like, extra parts are good, extra wrath is good, extra artifacts are really good. 